everybody, it's me, Becky, Youth Services Librarian here at the Longview Public Library. And today I'm going to share with you our week two pre-K packet for fall 2022, spiders. This week you'll need from home a pair of scissors like these ones. And you can get your pre-K packet either in library drive through or at the lower floor desk of the library. Inside you'll get your supplemental slips, which has our list of book recommendations and the words to the songs we'll be sharing today, and our early literacy tip. You'll get a black plate that has holes punched around already, um, a little thing of white yarn, and a little black or different colored pipe cleaner. Before we get started with our craft, I wanna share our early literacy tip for this week, which is that practicing your fine motor skills, the small motions um, the small muscles of your body is a really good early literacy skill because you need those muscles for when you start to write. Um, and this craft and the finger plays I'll show you later are both really good for practicing those um, skills. So this is a fun process craft. I've unraveled my piece of white yarn. For um, kids it might be helpful for the a grown up to wrap the tip of your yarn with like a small piece of tape to make an aglet like on a shoelace to make it a little easier um, to lace on your paper plate. And I would recommend also that the grown up do the first hole for them and tie a knot so that it doesn't keep coming undone. That can be frustrating. After you've tied that through, uh, your child can start lacing it if this is too long and unwieldy for them, which it might be because it's pretty long. You can cut the yarn into smaller pieces and then tie them back together when you get to the end of it when you're lacing your, your spider's web. So I'm just going to start and lace across and pull it all the way through. And then pull it back and lace it wherever I want and then I'll keep going until I've either totally run out of yarn or I've laced every hole in my spider web. So when you're all done lacing your spider's web, it'll look a little something like this. And I have some extra yarn here at the end so I can hang it up for a cool display for fall. Um, next, you can take your pipe cleaner and cut it into smaller pieces. I cut it into two and actually I'm gonna cut it into two more and then just kind of bend them together around a part of your spider's web to make your little spider. And here is my completed spider's web and little spider. So I have two songs to share with you. The first is a classic, I'm sure everybody knows it, and it is the Itsy Bitsy Spider. This, like I said, practices some fine motor skills, but I'll also show you a version to practice some gross motor skills, which means big, um, big mo motions. So it goes, the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Now we can also say like the great big spider. And sometimes when I do it, I'll do it in like a big voice too. And do big, the same similar motions, but just bigger. The great big spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the great big spider went up the spout again. The next song is called Crisscross Applesauce, and it's a really fun little interactive tickle rhyme, and so I have my storytime friend here, Monty, to help demonstrate it. So it goes, we make a cross, and you can just do it in the air, or you can do it on somebody's back. Crisscross applesauce, spiders crawling up your back, cool breeze, tight squeeze, now you've got the shivers. Our book recommendations for this week are The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carle, a picture book classic. 
This uh, takes place in a farmyard, and all of the animals keep coming up to the spider, asking it lots of questions, but it is just very, very busy. And this book is really cool. The spider web is, um, you can feel it, it's nice to touch. And it is, um, as it goes on every page, the web grows and grows. The next book is called Bear Out There by Jacob Grant. And this book is about Bear and Bear's spider friend. And Bear is a very indoorsy person. And Spider is very outdoorsy, um, but they're still very good friends. And then one day, the Spider loses its kite, and um, Bear has to venture out into the outdoors to help his friend. This book is called A Web by Isabel Simler. And this is a really cool picture book that tells you lots of um, fun facts about the outdoors and the things you might find there. So this one says you might find nuts and other seeds on this page and it has um, these really detailed illustrations of the different nuts and seeds you might find. And on every page spread, you'll also find a spider. I don't know if you can see it here. Some pages it's easier to find than others. And the last book I'm recommending is called Spy Coup, A Clutter of Short Verse on Eight Legs. This is written by Leslie Bouillon and illustrated by Robert Meganick. And this book is really fun because it combines really, um, like lots of information about different kinds of spiders with poems about those spiders. And this is actually found in 595 in the Dewey, which is the spider section. Um, so I'll just show you, there's a little table of contents that separates them by the title. So this page is called Spider Foolery, and it's got three different kinds of poems about, um, like, tricks that spiders do. And then this section is like facts about them. Like the green ant hunter spider um, has like a smell that attracts ants to it. Um, and that's how it lures them as prey. Um, this one, Spike You, very fun. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoy making your own spiders web and learning about our spider theme this week. Don't forget to pick up your pre-K packet at the lower floor desk or in the library drive through We're also doing in-person story times three days a week. Mondays we have baby time at 10.30, Tuesdays is toddler time also at 10.30, and Wednesdays we have preschool time again at 10.30. So I hope to see you in the library either to get your pre-K packet or to come to an in-person story time or both.